feet is pivot feet with the ability to open or cross step with either foot. First, the left foot is your pivot foot. Ready? Right hip, open. Left hip, cross. Now the right foot is your pivot foot. Ready? Right hip, cross. Left hip, open. Add the shot fake. Left foot, pivot foot. Shot fake. Right hip, open. Shot fake. Left hip, cross. The emphasis in phase two is moving these pieces into one smooth motion without eliciting a traveling call from the officials. We're not looking for speed and explosion yet just a coordinated natural motion that keeps the ball tight and the player balanced. Left foot, pivot foot, open, cross. Right foot, pivot foot, cross, open. Now, let's add the shot fake and alternate going right and left on my command. I'm looking for a slow shot fake up, then back down to your hip and into your first dribble with one smooth motion. Take your time. Shot fake. Shot fake. It's time to pack some dynamite into your game. The emphasis in phase three is speed and explosion. I'm looking for you to circle the ball tight in the letter C and rip the ball into your first dribble. Choose either foot as a pivot foot and alternate going right, then left on my command. Go. Go. Now, let's add the shot fake to it. Remember, slow shot fake, but quick rip. Go. Go. To incorporate all the explosion techniques from this chapter, Use a dummy defender and someone to shake hands behind the defender. On either side of the defender are cones to keep your lines of attack tight, to V the defender. The emphasis in phase four is to put it all together. Circle tight and use the ball for momentum. Recruit the glutes with the right mechanics and V the defender with a handshake. You can always replace the dummy defender with a chair and you can even train by yourself by shaking hands with a second chair. Now that you've learned proper technique, let's see how you can build these habits into your game, step by step, starting from the beginning. The situation is one we're all familiar with, whether it's a neighborhood challenge somewhere on the asphalt, or you're facing a defensive all-star in the world championships in front of millions of people. You're on the perimeter, you still have your dribble, the defense has established their position, and you need to score one-on-one. -on -one. Can the defender touch the ball in your shot pocket? If not, shoot. He knows you're a threat to drive, and he doesn't want to give up penetration. So he's playing off you to give himself time to react and cut off the drive. He's giving you the open shot, so take it. Remember, if he can't touch the ball, then he's not there at all. Quick draw. If the defender is too close for you to shoot, then drive. Don't shot fake. There's no need. Just drive. Now, this spacing is a judgment call that comes with experience. But let me give you a clear-cut read. If the defender dares to stick his hand in your shot pocket, then drive. Circle tight under his hand and rip to your hip, straight into your first step by him. But which way, right or left? A common approach is to read his feet and attack the lead foot. What does that mean? If he leads with his left foot, then attack that foot by driving right. And if he leads with his right foot, then drive left. Why? Because if you drive toward his back foot, then he simply step slides with you. But if you attack the lead foot toward the direction of his heel, then your defender must swing step to recover. 
but the swing step is slower, giving you more time to get by him. And if you control the space by brushing his hip with your handshake, then it's even more difficult for the defender to swing step and cut you off. But let's take this read to another level because I want your reaction to be as quick as your read. An even shorter read without having to look down at his feet is to read your defender's lead shoulder and attack his back. Picture it this way. There's an arrow sticking perpendicular out of your defender's back. It will point the way for you to drive. With his left foot or left shoulder leading, his back points to the right. With his right foot or right shoulder leading, his back points to the left. So what's the quickest read? Go away from your defender's face and attack the back. Okay, so if there's space to shoot, quick draw. And if his hand is in your shot pocket, dry. But what if your defender's found a middle distance that keeps you from being able to make a clear read? Your shot fake could draw him into driving range. Any movement by your defender to close the gap between you is a drive read. Go! Read his back, the lead hand, the lead foot, or whatever, but read and go. When you shot fake, your defender might not move closer, but he might raise up, looking to block your shot. This is a drive read as well. When your defender is vertical, he must drop back down to an athletic stance before he can move. The time it takes for him to do this gives you the advantage you need to beat him.